point lead for the Heat. Butler had 17 in the opening quarter. He had 14 in the first quarter of game one. Duncan Robinson off the bench, throws a three. And the lead is up to 13. And they're running almost a, a full court press. I, he's not telling them to get back on defense as Brooke Lopez knocks down a little floater. He wants to put that. That basket ends a 19 nothing run by Miami. Robinson, thanks to a screen from Bam Adebayo, drills the three. Looks like his confidence starting to come back. Yes. It's called self-confident, though. It's the belief in yourself. We know, everyone knows how good of a shooter uh, Duncan is, but you need him to continue to believe in himself and shoot through some of those woes. Allen comes right back and nails a three for Milwaukee. But back to Duncan Robinson, obviously got the side of the game, helps open up things in like a late transition situation. Allen off the punt fake, a sidestep three is money. Second three of the quarter for Grayson Allen. And look, Carter had a really good season for Milwaukee. And a bio foul line jumper is there. His second basket. And that's the thing if you of the first half of the Heat, and the lead is 18, trying to go up 2-1 in the series. Miami Heat trying to break the record now. <laughs> Here is Ingles, and he's able to answer. Boy, Mike Budenholzer talked up Joe Ingles and what he's meant to this team. Been standing for five minutes supporting his teammates, which I love to see. And the referees, after warning him, uh, gave him the call. Here's Oladipo with a shot clock at two. Hoist the three off the front rim. No. Rebounded by Portis. Five minutes remaining in the second quarter. Middleton trying to get past Robinson. Bakes it in. Tough runner by Middleton. Timeout Miami with the Bucks on an 8-0 run. Well, they have brought it the last minute and 24 seconds on an 8-0 run after Miami took an 18-point lead. No offensive rebounds for the Bucs. They had 17 in the first two games. Another Miami three. That's the 10th and the second by Lowry.